main issue is we think that prayer is what we actually see happening at church. And I really hate to burst your bubble, but prayer is not what we see happening in most of our churches because prayer is dialogue. Prayer is I talk, God listens. God talks, I listen. Prayer is conversation and dialogue back and forth with God. However, what we see in church is somebody will get up and start praying, hooping, hollering, da 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 right? They get up and they start doing all of that. And then when does God speak? So when I was at church last Sunday, um, um, it was my turn to lead prayer in, the, in mid-service after the worship session. And when I got up, I, I got up and released the words that God told me to release. But while I was up there trying to pray, God was speaking. So as I was praying, and I was talking to God out loud before the people. God was talking back to me and I was saying what God was saying at the same time so they could hear the word of the Lord. And at the same time, they, I, they could hear what the dialogue sounded like with God, because what we do is we go, we pray. We have a long list of things that we want to pray about. That's all usually self-centered. And I'm not saying you can't pray for yourself. OK, feel me where I'm going. I'm not saying you can't pray for yourself, but there's got to get to a point where you're not consumed with your own issues and needs, but you are consumed about the needs and issues of others, that God has given you a prayer burden or a burden for other people. Come on here, somebody. It cannot just always be about us. It can't. It can't. It just can't always be about us. It can't always be about what we're dealing with, what we're going through. And the thing is, a lot of us are still going through these things because we haven't learned to be selfless and put what we're dealing with on a back burner and begin to really pray and intercede.